Hey everybody, Soul Player 64 is back and I am bringing you guys more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we did some stuff, um, mainly wrap up everything. Now, I was going around and I was getting all of the, per se, um, all of the treasure charts that we got and I was getting all the treasures and stuff, when I came across this. That's the fabled ghost ship. That has a Triforce chart in it. It appears at Crescent Moon Island during a full moon. That's really creepy. Back off, shark. This is my destiny. This is like Phantom Hourglass. Now if we sail up to it, I think. Yeah. What the hell? Why can't I go into it? Go ship. There we go. Alright, we are boarded above the ghost ship. Oh boy, we got some whiz ropes. Oh, let me get my arrows. Come on, you dumb thing. Not you, you dumb schmuckin. There we go. I was gonna say, can I please have some light? There's a little flower glowing. Or growing, rather. Stalfos, the thing. That's great vocabulary code. Now I will make the ladder drop down. Now we shall climb up the ladder. And before you get this, break these pots. They have a crap ton of rupees in them. As soon as you open that chest, you're gonna be warped out of the out of the yeah, ship itself. So let's go ahead and open it. We got Triforce shirt number number four. All right. Yeah. Scary. Anyways, I want to show that off. Now I'm gonna cut here. Back to the actual episode. Hey everybody, Tell Player 64 is back and I'm bringing you guys more The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we cleared up some stuff. In this episode, I am here at Rockspire Isle because we have a treasure chart to get. Now, we're in this episode we are going to get all of the all of the um tri er, treasure charts, triforce charts, and heart pieces that we are missing. So this treasure chart is number number four all right we can cross that one off our list so i'll put all the ones that we're missing on screen right now just you know for you guys for your guys' sake now we're gonna start off with hard pieces yeah let me find the right page real quick now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, Ballad of the Winds, Ballad of the Gales, that's it. Just sit right back and hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. We're gonna warp to Dragon Roost Island. Then we're gonna set the wind direction north and sail to Seven Star Isles. Actually, I just had an epiphany. 
Uh, we actually have one more thing to do with Dragon Roost. Remember when we didn't have bird feathers? Enough bird feathers? Yeah, me too. Um, we're actually gonna give that to the postman right now. Oh, and speaking of mail, or not the postman, one of the guys, cause he wanted 20 bird feathers to give to his wife, and then he'll give us a piece of heart. But first, good morning! One letter. 10 rupees, yes. Beetle's a cheap ass motherfucker. Complimentary ID, it's valid. I think they spelled complimentary wrong. Hi, Kamali, are you still depressed over the love of your life being locked in a dreary cave playing her heart endlessly forever and ever? Yeah, I thought so. Anyways, shit. Come on, Link, we can do this. God damn it. You know, no more rolling. Let's walk up here like a normal person. Hello there, man. Would you like some of my wares? Yes. Um, an orange rupee. Great. Now, we need to play the song of passing twice. The song of passing sounds like it kills someone. Right, left, down. Right, left, down. Alright, here we are now. We should be able to go. I didn't want to risk turning around and falling, so I just backflipped. We want to go here, and the mailbox is going absolutely crazy again. One letter, thank you. Golden feathers from my boyfriend. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for the piece of heart. Anyways, now we will meet you up north at yeah, Seven Star Isle. On our way, I should on our way I should mention um that when I was digging up treasures and whatnot, I got the big oct or octo chart which can tell you the locations of all the big octos in the region. So, guess what we're fighting up here, guys, yeah? Uh, we are going to go up here and find that octopuck. I mean, octorock. Uh, where are you? Alright, so it must be a bit more... Must be higher up. Come on. I'll tell you, I'll cut back when to up when I find it. And I found it, guys. It is actually right here. Well, you can see in relation to the island. Alright, let's let's fight some big octo, shall we? Scotty! Quick! Get us out of this! I'm can't! I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! I love Star Trek. Oh, come on, you dumb. This Octo is the biggest Octo you will ever fight, with a total of 12 eyes. There we go. There we go. Oh, what? You can't block it with your tentacles? That's unfair. You're just flailing around and shit. There we go. Alright, now one more that I missed right here. There we go. Perfect. Headshot.
Alright, I was a bit late. Put it away. Uh, now we want to get our grappling hook out. Right here. What? There. Let's try now. I don't like it how... I don't like it how they freaking make the ring disappear. And now... There we go. Geez, that was... took way too longer than it should have. Like I didn't spoil this before. We got a piece of heart. Collected three. There's one more. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I went and collected a bit of the treasures. Not all of them, mind you. We haven't found all the charts yet. Um, and I got my total of heart containers up to 18. Now, we want to set our wind schedule. I don't know, wind direction, whatever. To southeast, because we are going to go to the flight control platform. B. Seven, I believe. Yes. See, I'll cut until there. Now, once you're here, um, we were here once before, but we could not do it because we did not have the godsend that is uh, the double magic meter. But now that we do, we can do this, and we can get our piece of heart because we need to fly on our Deku Leaf from that platform all the way over there. Birdman co- Birdman costume. I will. I do have something. I have my grappling hook! This guy looks like friggin' Waluigi. Wait, hey, hey. Can we change the wind, first of all? So we don't die? Yeah, that would have went extremely well if I jumped right then. Ready? Go! Epic music! For epic flying. I missed the first thing. I am going to die. Come on, fly. No! You missed, Link, you dumb schmuck. Ah, oh, that, that was really gay. Sploosh! 132. A whopping 132. Oh, thank you. Huh. He fills up your magic meter. I read a ready gentlemen and ladies. This is Sparta! Ah! There we are. Da -da -da. I don't know if this makes you faster or not, but. Ah, shoot. Come on, go, Link! Clap your hands, guys! I did it! Good job, Link. Beautiful. B E A U T I mean, B A G O L F U L. Congratulations! Why, thank you. 261. My eyes, they are unworthy. Wow. You mean you guys who are birds? <coughs> you guys who are birds can't fly a hundred and or two hundred and fifty yards? 
Wow, birds must have sucked back then. Um, this guy just shows you where the big octo is, I believe. Anyways, now we want to warp to Tingle Island. I will meet you guys there. Alright, once you're in Tingle... Whoa, what was that? Once you're at Tingle Island, you want to be sailing south of it. Because... There's a big octo here. There are the seagulls. Jump over the shark. Isn't that a phrase or something, you jump the shark? Anyways, doesn't matter. Man the harpoons, gentlemen! Because we have another 12 spotted octo to kill. The 12 ones hold the pieces of heart. Aw, oh, your tentacle's in the freaking way. Stop flailing around and shit. I said stop flailing around, I'm just shooting bombs at you. I'm surprised PETA hasn't harped on this game any yet. Any yet. This looks exactly like um the blue the whirlpool from uh, Mario Party 6. It's my one of my favorite mini-games. It's Blooper, blooper Scooper, that's it. That reminds me of this. Where you have to mash the A button to swim out. Oh, I love that one. Alright, now. Once you've defeated him. Go up and get your prize. Come on, I only have one minute left on this card. Uh... Shark, get out of here. Well, I'm gonna get raped after this. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we got? What do we got? We got a piece of heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to quickly switch out my cards and I will be with you in F. Six, the Forest Haven. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, truth be told, I lied. You want to warp down here to Southern Fairy Island. Now, at the very beginning of the episode, I bought a treasure chart number four. That's for here. As soon as you open it, you see that ring of light? That's a piece of heart. So we're gonna get that this episode while we... Right now! All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Now, after this, we will warp to the forest haven. Da, 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 da. I don't even need to cut it. It's like right here. Da, da. Anyways, um, what should I talk about? I actually, um. Recording this, I still haven't even downloaded my video editing software. I am procrastinating. Game Flame 3 is mad because of that, but whatever. I just want to get Wind Waker done. So then I can edit, 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 which will give me the motivation to start my new Let's Play, which I'm super duper excited for. But I'm excited now because I'm actually going to finish this. So let's find treasure chart that will uh, give me stuff here. Uh, no, that's Forsaken Fortress. Here we are. And it is. Right here. Da 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 da. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yes, this is exciting. This is super duper exciting because after this, 
we have to go get yeah a charge right here so I'm gonna park Kingy and I'm gonna meet you guys um way up where we did the uh, where we had to go to get access to the forest table or the uh, forbidden forest oh and by the way you're gonna need all your magic but do not even think about drinking your soup because these plants, as you remember, restore your magic. I'll still meet you guys up there. Alright, once you're up here, um, we are going to want to set our wind direction to whatever way Link is facing. Which way are you facing, Link? You are facing... Southeast. So we shall go southeast. Alright, have your Deku Leaf and full magic. As you recall, I think I showed that. I'm not too sure, but I attempted. Well, I could have just jumped from there. What the fuck? Whatever. I attempted to get this treasure chart once before, but it did not work for me because I had only half the magic I do now. But it's about freaking time we do this. We get treasure chart numero trace, which will give us a 200 rupees. Not too shabby. All right. Now, believe it or not, we're not done everything we need to do at, um, what's this island called again? Forest Haven. I will meet you guys back inside the Forest Haven. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once you are inside, you want, trust me on this, empty a bottle. Do it. Now what you want to do is scoop a bottle of water. But you can use it multiple times, but it loses its freshness after 20 minutes. We can do this in 20 minutes. Now I'm going to be shifting the post commentary right now because I don't know where the locations are and it'll be much, much more organized if I do a post. So, see you guys in a bit. Hey ladies and gentlemen, future me here. Before we begin, I would like to apologize for the clipping in today's video. I don't know what the hell happened to it. Something went wrong with my converter and yeah. Anyways, if you recall at the end of the forest sanctuary, we saw the forest sprout kids go and scatter their seeds all over the great sea. Well, they're incompetent, so we need to water it for them. The first tree is at Cliff Plateau Islands. Just set your wind direction east from Forest Haven, and once you're there, go up the slope of the small island and go down to the secret cavern. Once you've traversed through the secret cavern, just water the plant. Simple as that. Second of all is Shark Island. Warp to Southern Fairy Island and set your wind direction from west. Simply run up to the island, find the tree, water it, get back in your boat. Third location is Great Fish Isle. Warp here, because there's a location, and go up Spiral Mountain. Real easy. The tree's there. Fourth location is Needle Rock Island. Set your wind direction to southwest from Great Fish, run up to it, water it, get back to your boat. The fifth location is at Link's private oasis that we got from the creepy teacher in Windfall. Uh, warp to the Tower of the Gods and sail south. It's by the pool. Sixth location is Eastern Fairy Island. Warp to the tower again and sail north. What is that? Seventh location is Mother and Child Isles. Remember, you cannot warp here directly, or else you will end up in the area where we got the fire and ice arrows. So, warp to Tingle Island, set your wind direction for northwest, and it's by the Goron Wandering Merchant. Last location, Star Island. Sail north from Mother and Child Isles. That's it. You should easily be done this with like two to three minutes left to spare. Back to real commentary. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the last island. We are on Star Island. 
Hope I was clear enough for you. Um, it's the simplest guide um, on to the, where to go for the Deku Sprouts. And when you when you water your last one, holy shit, Link, you have big wood. It will be so happy, it will shit out a heart piece. But it's not any heart piece. It is our last heart piece. We have 20 heart containers now. Holy shit. Well, look at that. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So damn beautiful. Enough about that. We are actually going to do a couple more treasure charts. Um, all of which are containing 200 rupees. Uh, first of all, we shall warp to Southern Fairy Island. That is probably the simplest I can do. Uh, now if I can figure out where the hell I parked my boat. There you are. Alright, I will meet you guys. Actually, no, I can just warp directly warp there, so... Um, I just gotta figure out real quick where to go after. Alright, that'll be where. Southern Fairy Island. Then off screen I will go and I'll pick up all the other treasure chests treasure chests from the charts rather. But we'll also get all the Triforce charts this episode. Alright, now around here, there we are. There are some platforms with enemies on them. Now on this enemy platform thing are enemies and we need to kill all of them to get our treasure chart. Treasure chart number 40. For Narnia! Alright. Let the water flow up. Now we shall go. It was there. Uh, Whatever. Oh god. We're getting chased by a cannonball. Surprise, motherfucker. Ow, you can't drop kick me. Why am I allowed to drop kick people? Um, if you want, you can actually hit info on your water bottle and it'll tell you how much time you have left with it. But for now, we shall... bomb the hell out of these. There we are. Now once all that's done, a treasure chest will appear on that island. Oh wait, I have to get my Wind Waker out. Up, left, right. So how many of you have got picked up uh, Wind Waker HD? I'm not a big fan of, of HD remakes. If they make one, uh, good for them. Uh, it's a good game, but I probably won't buy it. That is just my opinion. But, not about that. Treasure chart number 40, everyone. Now, now what we are going to do is we are going to warp to Heads... Er, well... Um, out said island and then sail to Headstone Island, so I will meet you there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, um, once you are in the Headstone Island sector, we're not going to the island directly. Instead, we are going to a submarine. This is just a bit, uh, northwest of the island, so... I do believe there is a guy there who has his telescope out and he's looking at the, the submarine itself. But so let's go in, shall we? Oh, this will be fun. Oh, I for totally forgot what we can do. 
There's something very important for us at outset. Oh my god, I forgot to trade in our Knight's Crests. All well, this is... amusing. Is that it? Oh, one more. That's it now, right? Link! Gee, that must have hurt. You gotta stop doing that, man. Alright. What the fuck? I wasn't even holding that way! Uh, wave bird must be going dead. Oh, shoot. There we are. Oh, that was weird. This was probably one of the best things I ever invested in. Um, even though I didn't really buy it myself. Anyways! Treasure chart number 14, ladies and gentlemen. It goes to Tower of the Gods and it gives you 200 rupees, so very, very nice. Now, I will meet you guys at Spectacle Island, which is, uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, meet you there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, how to get to Spectacle Isle? You sail, you warp actually to Tingle Island and move one square north. Um, now we've been here before, but um, we played the game, but apparently to get the tr tr uh, yeah, the treasure chart, you need to play the game twice. Rather win twice. Get out of here, shark. The sharks are probably the most annoying thing in the game. All right, thank you, Kingy. Wow, you're actually beached. Hey guys, what did the two oceans say to each other? Nothing, they just waved. Huh, it's funny. Anyways. Oh, you suck, man. I love it how that's how he sleeps. He has this sign of like the cardboard cutout where his head's supposed to go, right in front of his face. But like, how are you supposed to hold that in for the middle of the night? Hello, dude. Nah, nah, I was just watching you sleep. Oh, 50 rupees per game. I got it. All right. Oh, why the hell is it foggy? 25. Nice. Twenty-three. Let's try it. Wow. Twenty-nine. Beautiful. Thirty-four. Ah, oh, a bit higher. 36. No. 38. 41. Now this one's just like a bit higher, so like... 43. Forty-six. There we go. All right. Well, that was easier than I thought. Psh, wait a second. Hey, Tetra, you're looking smexy as always. Thank you for that treasure chart. Now, we are going to go to Seven Star Island next. Uh, Seven Star Isle is right here, so we're gonna warp to Dragon Roost Island and go north. Don't even think I'll cut it. Actually, I might. Alright, meet you guys there. Alright, guys. Believe it or not, we're not actually going to the Seven Star Isles. We are going to stop off at this platform. Or these platforms, rather. Because they have our final treasure chart on them. 
You don't know how good that it yeah, how good that feels to say that. Final treasure turn. But we're not done in the episode today. We still need to get all the tri uh yeah, triforce charts. Actually, we'll do that next episode. All right, let's get our arrows out. Nice snipe link. Is that it? That, no, this isn't it. A red rupee. Wow. One shot it? Nah, uh, that's gonna be like a joy pendant or something. Not even worth it. I'll probably say not even worth it, but I'm going for it anyways because I'm a greedy ass motherfucker. Oh, golden feather. Never mind. Nice snipe me. All right, this should be the tre treasure chart. There we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. That's all for this episode. This really cut up, chunky, hunky, loving part of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the next episode, we are gonna get every single Triforce charge. And we're gonna get all the Triforce pieces that come along with it. See you guys there!